Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm glad to have you along with us, and I'm wondering how many of you I can tell by the names that many of you have attended prior webinars and, in fact, may have attended a live seminar with me as well. And uh, so I thank you for joining me again and look forward to you participating during this event. Most of the people in the room here have uh, a small business or they work for a small business and some are working for nonprofits on purpose, meaning you're in business and making money or you're working for a nonprofit. And if you're in a business and hoping to make a profit, uh, we'll begin to give you some of the tools that will enable you to really help ramp up your marketing activity. Um, if you've attended a prior webinar, uh, go ahead and slide that a meeting temperature bar down at the bottom over to the right. And if you've never attended a webinar before, slide it over to the left. Great, thank you. Well, I want you all to know that this is new content, um, but many of these are the same strategies we've taught in the past. They still apply. So you may see a few familiar strategies or tips along the way. And um, Let's, let's really start getting into it. This webinar is called Campaigns That Drive Action, Offers and Promotions, and these are ways to increase and reward loyalty, at the same time driving new customers to your business. Uh, my name is Ken Countess. I'm hosting the webinar today. Uh, you'll see my contact information on the screen, and what you'll see, in addition to the fact that we are active on seven different social media platforms, um, I'm also one of the very few master certified constant contact experts and also an authorized local expert, meaning uh, that I do these types of presentations live and on the web uh, very regularly. I do about 80 live events during the year in person at a location, and we're doing about 40 or 50 webinars a year now, too. I'm also a Microsoft partner and a Google partner, and the Countess Group is a full service marketing and communications company. So whether you need help with offers and promotions, which is the reason you're here today, or newsletters and announcements, or uh, you need help with your website, or you're looking for some additional guidance on how to make your social media campaign work better, any of the above, all of the above, uh, feel free to reach out to us. We offer a free 30-minute consultation to anybody that uh, reaches out to us via email, we'll send you a link and you can schedule a call with us and we're happy to provide the free help. Um, as far as my background, I spent about 25 years in corporate America, most of that time at a company called Motorola, more than likely you've heard of them, and I've also worked at Marriott and CVS and another company called Datamax O'Neill. And over the last 14 years, we've been consulting to businesses and organizations such as these. So they're both for-profit and non-profit and not-for-profit. Uh, and they include well-known names like Verizon and Marriott, uh, but also and primarily dozens if not hundreds of small to medium-sized businesses and nonprofits. And I want to make a point of that because um, although I have the very big company experience to bring to uh, the table, uh, I've been a small business owner myself for the last 14 years. And small business owners like us, you and me, uh, we have some unique challenges. They include time and budget. And so we need to make the most out of our resources. So we help you by becoming a, another resource. And we say, count on us to help you grow. Because that's really what it's all about. We want to make sure that whatever enterprise we're in, uh, that it grows and that we're successful and that we are able to fulfill our passion. I want to just very quickly review the fact that um, Constant Contact has a variety of products. I know when you registered for the class, you indicated that you were already using Constant Contact, and that's terrific. Um, most people are using it primarily for newsletters and announcements, not quite so many using it for offers and promotions, which of course is the subject matter for this webinar, but also built into your dashboard are two other major products. One is feedback and surveys. 
it is so beneficial for you to take a few moments to ask your clients or your volunteers or your customers what they're thinking. Uh, they can give you some extraordinary feedback. And then events and registrations. When you signed up for today's event, you were using Constant Contact's event slot. That's how I knew you were coming, and that's how I knew how many to uh, expect. And I knew a little bit about your company background and where you're located as well. So here is what we're going to do today. We're going to cover three basic areas. What are offers and promotions? And why should you run them? And what are the types of goals that a small business or a nonprofit might hope to achieve? And then we'll talk about the different types of offers and promotions. And we'll look at standard offers and promotions, as well as what's known as plus or advanced offers. And then we'll take a look at the five steps to creating a great offer. These are the things you need to know when you're setting up your offer or promotion. And then after that, we'll talk about next steps that you can take today to get started. I want to make a quick note about for and nonprofits and industry verticals. Oftentimes, I'm asked about how the things I'm talking about should be adjusted or changed for a nonprofit or a services like a business to business firm or someone in a different industry vertical. And I hear well, I'm not a brick and mortar business, so how does this apply to me? Well, the good news is that the principles that I'll be talking about are largely universal. They can benefit a nonprofit just as much as they can for a for profit. A business to business business, B2B, can follow these just as readily as a business to consumer or B2C. A restaurant can succeed with these ideas just as readily as a yoga studio a software company, a church, a bookstore. So you may have different considerations to make for your select audiences, but in large part, what I'm teaching here are best practices, and they're best practices really across the board. At the end of the webinar, I'm going to present you with three irresistible great offers, and they're only available for a limited time. I'll tell you what they are at the end of the webinar. All right, so let's jump right into it. What exactly are offers and promotions? That's the first part. Well, let's set the stage first by giving a simple definition or a framework for what marketing really is. You probably already know in general what marketing is, but when I say the word marketing today, I'm talking about something very specific. And I want to be sure that we're all on the same page. My definition of marketing has three simple parts. You define an audience, a group of people that you want to target. You reach out to them with a message that is specific to them. And you seek to elicit a physical, measurable response. Now, that may be a click, it may be a reply, it may be a call, a purchase, a referral. These are all actions that represent a decision made by a human to react to your message. So keep this in mind as we talk about marketing and marketing campaigns today and the ways to deliver the most effective campaigns. You're doing these things because you want people, your customers, your clients, your donors, or your supporters to actually do something. So let's talk about campaigns now. And what does that word really mean? Well, very simply, there are two parts to a campaign. First, you push out some sort of content. And we'll talk more about what content in a bit to your followers and supporters and so on. And second, you hope to pull some sort of a response from them. You are wanting them to read or forward or share what you sent, show up, call, attend. You want them to take an action of some sort. So think about a campaign in terms of push-pull. And more importantly, don't think about it as simply putting an offer out there and making a sale. In this new marketing world, things are much more like a conversation, which lends itself to an advantage that you have over big business. As a small company or a nonprofit, you can engage in a conversation that feels and in fact is much less like a sales gimmick and much more 
like nurturing a relationship. And if you're doing it right, it will seem like that from both sides of the conversation. In the case of offers and promotions, what you're pushing are rewards or incentives to your customers and supporters, and through them to prospective customers or supporters or clients. And what you hope to pull back are results that allow you to achieve the objective of the offer, more revenue, new people through your door or brought to your cause, greater demand for your expertise, and so on. So when you're creating an offer or promotion, it's important to consider the goals and objectives. So what is it that you really hope to accomplish with this marketing effort? Do you want to increase revenue? Do you want to grow your contact list? Or do you want to expand your social reach? You can seek to get all three through one campaign. So let's talk about the three things you really want in the process of building a deal. And we're going to go into more detail on them in just a few moments. First is control over the deal. And it should be control over all aspects of the deal. So here are the questions that you want to ask yourself. Are you limited to the type of discount that you can offer? If you would typically offer something like 50% off, is there something different that you can offer? Maybe a dollar amount or a free gift with purchase or maybe a buy one, get one free. When you're placing that offer out there, can you place some restrictions on the discount? Do you have a limit on how many deals that you want to offer? Do you want to run the deal or offer for a limited time? Should you place an expiration date on the offer? And are you comfortable with a less than 50% revenue share? You can run offers or promotions to help drive additional business to and through your door and ultimately to help you drive profitable sales. Be sure to ask these questions as you think about the profitability of your offer. Some of these reflect questions that we've just posed, but these all are in the context of helping you figure out if the deal that you're looking at offering makes economic sense for your organization. Do you control the pricing of the deal? Does the deal provider take all of your profits to run the deal? And for example, are you asked to give up 40 50% of what you collect on each deal. So if you offer $40 of food for $20 and the deal company takes $10 per deal, are you now losing money on each deal sold? At the end of the day, or more importantly, at the end of the deal, you want to be able to retain the contact information of those who purchased the deal. We know that to turn new customers into regulars, you have to know who they are which then gives you the opportunity to connect with them and thank them and start to create a relationship that will turn them into loyal customers. When it comes to contact information, don't forget the basics. Even though a good deal provider will pass along the contact information of someone who bought your deal, you may find that the deal attracts new customers through word of mouth, like friends of the deal purchaser coming along for a visit to your store and so on. So, Make sure you've set up systems and trained your staff on collecting the information of those new customers as well. How do you do that? Well, you use sign-up sheets or cards. You can use your PC to create a simple sign-up sheet. You can train your staff to ask for the customer's contact information while they're on the phone. Or at the point of redemption, whenever customers are finalizing a sale, quite simply, just be sure to get their name and email address and let them know what it's for to stay in touch with them so they can learn more about your business and to receive newer offers in the future. So let's now look at the myth of quantity versus quality. And because I brought the question up, the question is really about where the names come from. Where do you get the list that you send the deal to? Some deal providers will wow you with the size of the list they have access to. 
and to which they'll send word of your deal. So they're cleverly covering the quantity play. But remember, there's a very good chance that out of that massive list, that only 29% of the deal purchases will be new to your business. And it's also likely that most of them will never return to you. Why? Because they are targeting people who only want a coupon. So how do you go about getting a quality new customer? Someone who will likely return. It's by targeting those who already love your business. The real best practice is where your deal is sent to your list, to your existing loyal customers. And the purpose of using your own list of contacts is to get the right kind of new customer, the kind that are similar to your existing customers and more likely to become repeat customers. In turn, you incent them to become part of your marketing team because you ask them to share out the deal to their networks and to advocate on your behalf. Promoting a deal to your own list is great because it rewards your customers for their loyalty and turns them into your advocates to attract new customers to your business. And I'll talk more about the sharing of deals in a few minutes. But understand that because you send the deal to your, your list of customers and they share on your behalf, that's new customers that are far more likely to become repeat customers. So you also need to ask the question of, how many deals is just enough? It's absolutely possible to sell hundreds or even thousands of deals, but will that truly be best for your business? At the end of the day, will that work out in your favor? Remember, some deal providers have massive lists because the more deals that are sold, the more money they make. And that would be fine if they told you, who bought your deals, but they won't even share that information with you because they want you to keep coming back to them. And some of you might have a huge list of people to send an offer to. So what about that? Well, don't worry. Have you ever heard the saying that it's not the size of the list that matters, it's what you do with it? Well, it's the same thing here. Your customers will receive the offer and by having a good offer, they will be compelled to share it with their friends and family who will buy the deal and become a part of your ever-growing list of contacts. And there are other advantages to using your own list of contacts, but it's worth repeating the most important of which is that you're offering a deal to those who are already loyal to your business, not deal seekers who likely won't return. And another consideration, deal providers want you to want to send your offer to as many people as they can because this is how they make more money. But does overwhelming you with deal seekers really work best for your small business? Sending a deal to your list of contacts is a great reward for their loyalty, something that they'll share with their friends and family in return. And these are the kinds of new customers you want not those who are like your best customers, not deal seekers. You want those who are like your best customers, not deal seekers. And finally, you want to track which deal buyers are brand new customers to your business. How do you do that? Well, it's all in the reporting in your account, and you need to carefully review it to make sure you're getting what you want from your list. So if you use your own list, you need to keep those customers interested and engaged with you. And here are some tips on how to do that. First, say thank you to the deal buyer through a follow-up email or a postal mailing. And then place them on your list of contacts and send them a newsletter asking for their permission, of course. And then add the deal buyers to a special list, which you can use to send targeted offers. And lastly, Encourage deal buyers to join you on your social networks, like Facebook and Twitter. No matter the service provider you use, it's important to stay in touch with customers after the deal as a way to cultivate those new relationships. An easy way to do that is to have them share their experience on the social networks. So now let's go through different types of offers and promotions. 
we've looked at setting goals for offers and promotions, and we've talked a little about the importance of using these marketing efforts not only to grow revenue, but to grow your contact list. But what kind of offer or promotion should you create, and how do you do that? Well, there are lots of deal providers and digital marketing services out there, and we're one of them. Our offer and promotion templates will help you send out coupons, launch a deal, or get more fans on Facebook. So let's talk about the different types of offers and promotions you can create with these templates, standard offers and promotions, and something we call plus campaigns. With standard promotions, you can send a sale or coupon, notify your audience about a sale, or send a coupon through email and social media. This example is from In a Pickle Restaurant. It's a coupon for 20% off, and they want customers to print this out and bring it to their location. We call this kind of a coupon a dumb coupon. You just print it and carry it into the store or event or meeting. And then a product or service promotion where you might promote specific products offered by your business or organization through email or social media. This email is from a travel agency called the Tropical Travelers, and they are promoting a sale on resort vacation packages. Now, note that these are communications that are sent out through email marketing and social media marketing with a more specific focus on a product or service. Think with social media marketing that this is a part of a 20% rule from the 50-30-20 rule, where only 20% of the time you are doing some sort of a call to action, encouraging someone to buy. If you want to take your promotions to the next level, you can run a plus campaign, including a Facebook promotion. And a Facebook promotion is similar to any marketing campaign you've done, but it takes place on Facebook. Your fans interact with your page to take advantage of an offer that you're promoting. And with Facebook promotions, you can run a sweepstakes, coupon, downloadable content promotion on Facebook to grow your fan base and create social word of mouth. So why should you run an offer? Well, it's a great way to reward your current customers and build a loyal customer base. And it's easy for customers to share your offer through social media and email, which will spread word about your business, digital word of mouth, and attract the attention of your customers' friends and family, giving you the opportunity to gain more local qualified customers as well as their contact information to turn them into regulars. All in all, it's about building new customers and revenue. Promotions are the primary reason why people like business pages. And this is what fans want from you in Facebook, on Facebook. We've seen it time and again from a number of marketing studies. The top reason consumers like a Facebook page, it's to receive discounts, promotions, and exclusive content. So now let's talk about deals. We all know a deal for, allows for customers of your business to enjoy a product or service at a discount, but beyond a mere coupon. Why is this better than a coupon? Because customers are paying up front for the privilege of the discount. Restaurants and other retail stores can ideally use a promotion like this to bring in new customers. Why would you run an offer? Well, it's a great way to reward your current customers and build a loyal customer base. And it's easy for customers to share your offer through social media and email, which will then spread the word about your business. It's that digital word of mouth. And it gives you the opportunity to attract the attention of your current customers, friends, and family, giving you an opportunity to gain more local qualified customers as well as their contact information to turn them into regulars. And it's really all about generating revenue. Another option of plus campaigns is trackable coupons. 
which don't require that customers purchase them up front. They claim the coupon and bring it to your location. Customers can also easily share your coupon with their friends and family through social media. So what's the advantage of using a trackable coupon? Well, trackable coupons reward sharing. Customers who share through Facebook or Twitter or email can receive a second discount, like an extra percentage off. And this is a great way to encourage your current customers to spread word of mouth. And even though you don't get the upfront sale like you would with a local deal, requiring less of a commitment from your customers can encourage more people to participate. And while deals tend to work best with higher discounts like 40 or 50% off, coupons work well with smaller discounts like 15 to 20% off. And this means more profit for you over time. You can also get reporting from trackable coupons. They're also known as smart coupons. You can find out how many people claimed it, how and where it was shared, and if the claims were by new or current customers. And you also get the contact information for everyone who claims your coupon added right into your account. So it makes managing redemption really a snap. You can track used coupons through a mobile app in your account or from a printed file. So how do you create a great offer? Well, here come five steps that will help you achieve success with your offer or promotion. You know a little about offers and promotions, and you know that there are standard traditional promotions you can create, like printable coupons, and a product or a service promotion via email, and you can take your offers and promotions to the next level with Facebook promotions, local deals, trackable coupons. But now let's create an offer you can share with your customer base. The first step is to consider the goal of your offer. What will success look like? Who is the offer for? Who will your audience be? Those are the first things to take a look at. Next, whether you are selling products or services or promoting a cause, you'll want to build your campaign around something that connects to the goals that you've outlined that will get people to like and share your page with their friends. Think about what you can offer. For a B2C, that might be a discount or coupon. B2Bs may consider offering exclusive content like white papers or tips or guides. A nonprofit could run a sweepstakes or a contest. And you've got to have clear calls to action. Next thing you want to do is select the right type of offer for your goal. Is it revenue? then try a simple coupon or product promotion or a local deal. Do you want to grow your list? Use a social campaign like a Facebook promotion or a trackable coupon. Make it clear in your offer what you want your audience to do next and tell them about what you want to do with that offer. And don't dance around the issue. Tell them that you want them to like your Facebook page to get that special offer. Tell them to print out a coupon and bring it into your store. Ask them to share your offer with their friends and family so you'll get exposure to potential new customers. And are you a business to consumer organization? Well, here are some ideas for you when creating your offer. You can create promotions that give fans incentives like a coupon or discount, how to information, or a sweepstakes or a contest. And if you're a B2B, business to business, your knowledge is your best asset. Consider using Facebook promotions to offer special downloads or white papers that give tips or insight into your industry or products. There might be some seasonal offers you could create for fans who are in need of your services at different times of the year. And if you have the option, you can offer fans a coupon or discount. 
And you can also give them a taste of what you do with a free consultation or demo. Nonprofits can use offers to promote their cause, tell their story, increase fundraising, and encourage fans to attend their events. Building a successful offer is both an art and a science. So what do I mean by that? Well, there are four things to consider. The first is you choose the discount amount, which is the price. And next, you choose when the offer runs, meaning when it expires. The offer won't last forever. Next, figure out how many you want to offer. Do you have the manpower and inventory to support it? We'll call this the amount, uh, also known as the total number of offers. And then the terms of the offer, also known as the restrictions. These are what will help structure a successful offer for your business. And if you want to remember this easily, just tell yourself to consider the PEAR, P-E-A-R, Price, Expiration, Available, and Restrictions. It's extremely important to use all of the tools at your disposal to promote your deal, including email, Facebook, Twitter, and other social networks. So here are two considerations. You can select which list of your customers or supporters you want to send the deal to, which allows you to further connect the right opportunity to the right segment of your customer base. And with respect to collecting contact information, and remember how much I've been pushing that, you can choose to add the information of purchasers of the deal to a specific list, which will make it easier to follow up with them later. Start by promoting your offer by emailing your list about it. And schedule an email reminder. You can also publish it to your Facebook page and schedule a series of posts to run throughout the duration of the campaign. Include it in your email newsletter, promote it in your store, or post it on all of your social networks. Share it on your other social networks. Write a blog post about it. You never know who might catch your messages on these other channels. Your followers can easily share them and pass them on to their networks. So every tweet, every email, every blog post is another chance to get yourself in front of new customers. You want your customers that have purchased the deal, but you want them to have the tools to further promote it for you. And this may be the personal recommendation of your business from one friend or family member to another. These are tools that make them easy to share the deal on their social networks, to a select group of people, to their family members, to others. So what do you use as a bonus to get buyers to share your deal with others? Well, it really depends on your business, but offering five or 10 or $15 or 10% off the next visit coupon might be recommended. The best part is you get to choose. So if you have other products or services or a whole other side of the business you want to showcase, use the share bonus to introduce your deal buyers to that aspect of your business. For example, you as a salon may offer a discount on a mani-pedi if your customers purchase a massage deal and share the massage deal with their connections. A restaurant may offer a free appetizer, dessert, or 10% off the next visit coupon for those who, then buy, who buy and then share the deal. Make the incentive for sharing attractive to encourage sharing the deal with others. Some of the tools that you can use to plan and promote events return your results instantaneously, and others take 24 hours. Some tools used to run webinars, for example, may take that long for the recording and the list of attendees and non-attendees. So make sure you know which option your tool is so you can plan accordingly. In either case, once the event is concluded, 
you can go ahead and check your results and reporting and get a few different things. You can pull a list of people who took advantage of the offer. You can collect signups if you had a live event. You can add that kind of material as well. The most important thing that you can do after your deal is to say thank you. So let's think about how your deal did. How did you do? Did you meet your goals? Well, check the results and see how you did over the duration of the deal. If you achieved your goals, fantastic, congratulations. If you beat your goals by a big margin, can you pinpoint why? Is the response better than expected? Was it really effective consideration of the right offer for your audience? Did you do a little bit of sandbagging? Maybe you did all of the above. What are the things that you think worked that you'll be sure to do again the next time? If you didn't hit your goals, don't despair. You learn valuable lessons with each effort. If you missed your targets, try to pinpoint why you fell short. Did your promotion fail to land where it needed to? Did you choose the wrong audience for your offer? Was your timing off? Did you set unrealistic expectations? Even if you missed your goals, are there one or two things that you can point to that did work that you can build on for the next time? Keep track of who took advantage of the offer or promotion. Maybe even tag those on your list so they can be the intended audience for future offers or for surveys about what promotions you do run. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. If it worked well, do it again. Don't just run a promotion and then give up, regardless of whether you're successful or not. Here are a couple of examples of small businesses that first ran one campaign and then another soon after. This is Zuka Baby, a parenting boutique in New Orleans. They offered a coupon for natural mom and baby products and then did a different deal for clothing. Let's take a look at five steps. I'm sorry. The five steps to creating a great offer, these are the things you really needed to know in order to get things off the ground and do it correctly. Remember the goal of the offer, selecting the right type of offer, creating and control, that's the pair, distribute, promote, encourage, sharing, the results and the follow-up. Make sure that you take advantage of webinars that are other webinars that are available that talk about how to do things correctly. So as you get started on your promotion or offer, here are some don'ts to keep in mind. Don't assume that you have to offer a steep discount. What's more important is the type of offer that will generate the most attention from your audience. So what have you done in the past? What will make your readers, your audience, excited and want to share with their friends and family? Don't assume that getting someone in the door through the door once is enough. Growing your business takes a commitment to building relationships with your target audience. It takes more than just one positive deal experience to get people to come back. Follow up with an exclusive offer or a piece of content and ask them to follow you on social media or join your email list. And don't use deals as a way just to sell unwanted inventory. While it may make sense on paper to move unwanted inventory, if you're selling a product no one wants in the first place, you could be undermining the success of your deal and the success of your business. Don't forget to redeem coupons. Not only will keeping track of redemption keep you more organized and prevent errors, it will also enable you to learn more from each deal that you run. And don't forget to thank the people that participate. This will add to their experience with you 
and make it a positive one. And deals aren't always about new customers. Yeah, they can help you bring in more revenue, but it's about rewarding your current customers and making them loyal, repeat customers. This group is more likely to spread positive word of mouth about you to their friends and family, and it will help you to identify your best supporters. So reach out to them. Grow your relationship with them. Reward them for being your best customers. They're the ones who are most likely to spread positive word of mouth about you. So go ahead, identify your best customers, treat them like royalty, and you'll see some great positive results that will only positively impact the bottom line. If you're already using Constant Contact, you probably want to take advantage of some more local learning available in your area or right here online. There are expert partners all around. You can go to marketplace.constantcontact.com. If you're not yet using any of Constant Contact's products, I encourage you to get started today. Service starts at only $20 a month. There are no contracts. You would go to that URL you see at the bottom of the screen. It's http colon double slash bit dot ly slash new toolkit. And if you sign up today, I've got a couple of freebie bonuses for you. If you're a new subscriber beginning today, I'll give you an hour of free coaching. That's a $175 value. You've got to start your new paid subscription by the end of the month and use that same URL. Once you sign up, I'll know who you are, and we'll go ahead and get that offer in place for you. And here's freebie bonus number two. You can get a free campaign template. That's a $199 value. And that's, for again, for new paid subscriptions. You've got to start your paid subscription by August 30th, and you have to use this URL down at the bottom of your screen, http colon double slash bit dot ly slash new toolkit. You may be wondering, what is a free campaign template? Well, it looks like this. It's an email template, the one you see on the right, that's created to look just like your website. It's got the same branding. It's got the, your color palette, your logo. It's got connections to social media. We'll do that free for you if you purchase a Constant Contact account today, and that's $199 value, which makes that total freebie package $374. That's pretty cool. Free is good. So if you're interested, go ahead and use that URL at the bottom of the screen, or you can send me an email, and we'll go ahead and get that set up for you. We'd be happy to do that for you. If you need more information, just contact us. I promised you there were three bonuses. The next one is coming. But here's our contact information. You can call or text us at the number you see on the screen. Send an email. Follow us on social media, of course. We'd encourage you to join our loyalty program. We call it the VIP Partner Club. There are no membership fees, great benefits that include a way for you to contact a constant contact expert without having to call into the call center. Uh, we will be able to give you some free help. And if you join the VIP Partner Club, we'll give you a 30-minute free marketing consultation. Again, absolutely free. The way you do that, if you're already a Constant Contact user, I'd encourage you to join. Just send an email to me at that address, kc at thecountessgroup.com. We'll send you the membership information. It will take you literally less than one minute to fill it out and send it back in, and we can get you at it. We're conducting webinars all the time. The next Webinars can be found at bit.ly slash marketing classes, all lowercase. And uh, that will give you access to everything that we're doing, not just webinars, but live classes as well. And lastly, if you need a speaker for an upcoming event, 
uh, contact us. We deliver many, many seminars and webinars, and virtually all of them are free of charge. So if you need a speaker for your Chamber of Commerce, for your Rotary Club, if you are sponsoring a trade show, uh, get in touch with us and uh, let's talk about it. Again, most of these are done completely free of charge. Here again is my contact information. You'll get a copy of this entire deck, everything that you saw on screen during this session. You'll get a copy of this uh, as a clickable link in an email uh, shortly after the webinar. So I want to thank you for joining me today. We've got a few minutes that uh, we've carved out to field any questions you may have. If you have a question or two, use the Ask a Question button in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. And uh, I'll stand by and answer whatever questions come in. Thank you again for joining me today. I want to remind you that the Countess Group is a full-service marketing and communications company. So whatever needs you have in the way of marketing, whether it's related to email marketing, social media, public relations, building a website, video marketing, building a strategic marketing plan for you, we can handle that for you. Just go ahead and reach out to us, and uh, you'll uh, be able to, once you join our VIP club, you'll get a free 30-minute consultation. And free is good. So I'll stand by here. Thank you again for joining me, and uh, we'll take time to answer any questions you may have.